Micah from Borderland Construction and today we're going to learn how to use a table saw and do a freehand bevel cut and we'll explain why you might need to do one of these. So first off we have a Bosch table saw here. Uh, it's a pretty common table saw, lots of contractors use them. It's got a couple nice features. The table can slide out for larger pieces and slide in again. Um, you got your fence which goes back and forth and locks with uh, marks that you can see here for uh, measuring how wide your piece is going to be. Um, a couple other features on here are of course the on off switch which we have the power disconnected right now. Um, you got the angle for beveling things. A lot of times on these saws you might need to over a tap with your hammer to loosen her up. But uh, so you can go whatever angle you want, 10, 15, 20 degrees, so on and so forth. Today we're just going to be using zero. Damn. So, uh, other things, the wheel right here raises or lowers the blade. You generally want your blade to be about a quarter inch to three eighths above the piece you're going to be ripping uh, thickness wise. And now we're going to go do some bevel cuts, uh, freehand bevel cuts, and we'll explain why you would want to do these. And then we'll uh, dig right into one. Okay, so now we're um, where we want to do our bevel cut. And why we're doing this is because we have a trim piece that needs to go beside a window. And we have two different measurements on it. At the bottom we have about a 3 and a 16 of an inch. And at the top we got about two and three quarters of an inch. So actually let's say it's two and three quarters a fair ways down the window. So what we're gonna do is do two and three quarters at the top and to three and the sixteenth at the bottom. And we'll do that freehand on the table saw. So the first thing we want to do is take our trim piece here and we're gonna mark both our marks on it. So we're gonna mark our three and the sixteenth on the bottom. Three and one sixteenth. We'll mark our two and three quarters at the top of the piece here. So we got two and three quarters. We'll take our straight edge and we'll make a line between our marks. So now we got the piece we want to cut marked out and we'll take a walk over to the table saw and cut it up here. So we're not going to use the fence on the table saw today. We're just going to freehand cut it through because the line's beveled and our fence won't work for a beveled cut. So I'm going to fire up the saw. It's going to be a little bit loud and then uh, we'll do our cut. Now when I'm halfway through the board, what I'm going to want to do is just walk around the board and finish my cut from the other side. I'm go probably going to go two thirds of the way through the board. Now I'm going to walk around and I'll finish my cut from the other side. There, I just followed our line that we drew. So what I did there, I followed the line that we drew right through the board on the line, and uh, I ended up with a board that is thicker at the top or wider at the top or at the bottom and thinner at the top. So, so let's go try it out. See how we did. So we're back at the wall here, and we're going to install our board. 
and it is a little bit tight but what we can do is just kind of put it in on the side we'll give her a couple quick taps snug it into place we got a little gap at the top so we'll just tap her up a little bit yeah. and there's our board and then we'll nail it in afterwards